Hello everyone, I'm Chris, and today we're doing something a little bit different, Balloons Tower Defense 6. Great game to have on the background, great game to play on the side, and today I'm going to be covering a quite AFK method of earning XP and a little bit of monkey money. This is using deflation mode on an expert map, but don't worry, it's not too difficult. We're going to be doing this without any monkey knowledge enabled. However, you could do this on other maps, and it's a little bit easier if you do have monkey knowledge. We're also not going to be using any particular hero, we're going to have the default Quincy, although he's not particularly needed for this. So, we're going to need an expert map, and what we're going to be using is Quad. I quite like Quad, it seems to be the lowest risk for this method, sometimes the way timings work out, things might go wrong. So, I find Quad to be one of the better maps. If you don't have an expert map unlocked, all you have to do is just complete one intermediate map on easy difficulty to unlock advanced, and one advanced to unlock an expert map in which case we're using quad. If you have trouble beating an advanced map, even on easy, just use a cash drop. It's more than worth the money. You'll get an extra 25 monkey money on top of the cash drop back. And expert is much the same. You have to beat quad on easy first, and then you have to beat it on primary monkey only. You may want to use a cash drop for easy mode on standard, and I use a cash drop in primary just because I don't like it too much, and it's just quick and easy. Drop a cash drop, get your money back more than your money back, no problem. And then we get Deflation unlocked. So with Deflation on Quads, this is a very simple method. We're going to need a couple of Monkey Towns, or Monkey Villages rather, and we want to get these upgraded to, in this case, 202, and in this case, 022. And this will give us exactly what we need. We need three more towers, and the first two are very easy to get, you should probably have them unlocked by now. One, you might not. We need a tier 4 alchemist. So first let's drop our couple of monkey aces, and these are going to be 203, so never miss targeting. And then the final tower that we need is an alchemist. This doesn't particularly have to be anything special. We just need it as tier 4, so 4 is zero, 0 You can also get a last upgrade if you want, but it doesn't make a difference here. If you're going to use a hero, make sure it's outside of the range of the alchemist. And I'm just going to throw him here, because the BFB on round 60 comes from the left here. Doesn't make a big difference, as I say. The main popping power here are the monkey aces when they're affected by the alchemist. but. It should be quite easy if you don't have it unlocked already to unlock this tier of Alchemist because he's great and especially co-op if you play social and other things. Having one towards the front of the track for converting lead to gold and rubber to gold is a very nice tower and you should have it. So if you do get that, you'll have this level in no time. And this is all we really need until the end. You'll have some spare money if you have various monkey knowledge upgrades, you'll have more money in this. You can do whatever you want with it, throwing some upgrades in Quincy doesn't matter. But this is all we have to do. So from now on, we start with wave 31 because it's deflation. And this will carry us to wave 60, we'll complete it no problem. You don't need to be watching. You could just alt tab, turn the volume off, put on a movie, do whatever you want to do. I usually just have this in the background while I'm doing other things. You earn quite a lot of XP from this, 60 monkey money at a time, which is not too bad, it's nothing great, but the XP is definitely what you want, and this is better than playing late game free play for XP by far. And it's very simple to do, very easy. I'll put a list of these upgrades in the description, and you shouldn't have any trouble. As I said, there could sometimes be problems, very rare occurrences where timings just don't line up, and buffs don't buff at the right time from the Alchemist, and just the way the balloons come, you might have issues you might lose. It's quite a rare occurrence and as soon as you start getting various monkey knowledge investments you'll have no trouble whatsoever. Something I also like to do is just make sure that these two are monkey aces are directly across from each other. So just flip one, wait until they're halfway across the map from each other, flip them again and now you've got them both rotating around each other. Other than this you don't have to do anything. So what I'm gonna do Fast forward through this next bit, and I'll see you at the end.
Something I wasn't expecting was to level up myself during this run. There's some monkey knowledge right there. So here we are at round 60. As you'll see, we have no trouble dealing with the BFB. Smug cases when they're buffed, they're no joke. As you see, because we have no monkey knowledge, a little bit of balloons got passed there. That's quite a rare occurrence, that's just the way the timings work. Generally, you'll never have any problems. Get some monkey knowledge, you'll be using it for later, and you're using this method to get monkey knowledge anyway. So make sure you do get it. Other than that, nice and easy method, nice and quick to set up. Lather, rinse, repeat, get yourself some levels, and uh, I hope you find this quite an easy method. This does apply to a lot of maps. This probably does have the start to finish length that I would say is getting towards a bit dangerous. You're really looking for maps with the longest stretch between start and finish for balloons. For example, maps that have multiple paths and each individual path is quite short. Those can be quite problematic with this method. Although, many other maps, not much trouble. So hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something, and enjoy the rest of your days.